<laughs> I win again. <laughs> Did Horley send you, Pop? I'm Clay Davies. This is my brother. Clive. He don't talk. Maybe you two will get along better. <laughs> Maybe not. Listen, I heard you wanted to earn some money. So, there's a gang of ne'er-do-wells. They are a bunch of degenerates, not good people. They're out near Cumberland Falls with a bunch of horses they stole off of me. Well, that's a lie, but they stole them off a fella I was gonna steal them off of. <laughs> Maybe you could get them for me. You think you could do that for me, Pop? Oh, look. Here are your friends. Well, good. Meet me at the stable at Valentine once you have the horse flesh. And I'll pay you good. Oh, and Pop, Horley wanted me to remind you any decent work you can find Take it, but just try to stay out of trouble. Oh, and once you give me those horses, well, after that, we'll talk again. Oh, I do so enjoy these conversations. I'm used to them on account of my brother. Let's go, Clive.
well, well. Horley was right about you. Dead right. Ain't that dandy? Get that horse hidden away, Clive, and ready to move out as soon as we can. All right. Here's the money you earned. Now listen, Horley came by and gave me a message. He said to go see your friend Cripps up at your camp. Now listen to me for a second. Any other decent horses you find, we'll buy them. Just as soon as we are set up, okay? Nice meeting you. You know what? Hold on, boy. I call him boy because I'm older. 30 minutes, he went black. <laughs> Let's give our friend here back the horse. It's yours. A sign of faith and future business. If you want to buy any extras or sundries for the animal, head inside. They've got a lot available. See you soon. <laughs> Come on, Clive. Morning, Park. Morning, friend. <laughs>
do you get on with Clay Davies? Horrible little wretch, in my opinion. Pop this and pop that. I'd like to pop him, a slime bucket. <laughs> anyway, I've got everything set up. Well, uh, what we have so far, place is pretty nice. I uh, think you did a good job for you. I'll earn my keep. When you get too old to fight, what choice have you got? It's either work or beg, and I'd rather work. Oh, I saw Horley. Now, he wants you to come down and meet him in Blackwater when you get a chance. I think he might have some work for you. Oh, and uh, uh, while you're out on your travels, you may see some folk with uh, employment opportunities. Good folk, bad folk, looking for a tough guy with a gun to help him. Up to you if you uh, listen to him, I guess. Uh, you know, I, I used to like that kind of stuff. Uh, one time, I almost helped a clown steal an elephant. <laughs> but that's a very silly story. Welcome home. Make yourself at home. It is your home. Madam, I implore you to be sensible. Oh, I am being sensible. I swore I would kill them, each and every one of them. From the way I see it, I will do. I'm afraid my mind's made up. But Mrs. LeClerc, Teddy Brown, he's just a second-rate common no-good horse thief. You kill him and the rest of his boys, well, you'll wind up in jail. Or worse, and we will never find out who killed your husband. You know it, and I know it. I believe Teddy Brown killed my husband. If he did so, he did it on behalf of his sister, her husband, or Jeremiah Shaw. Perhaps, Besides, but... he's holed up in there, besieged by marshals. Marshals? What good did a marshal ever do anyone? That's why we'll send in our professionals to get the job done, and no one will know you had anything to do with it. It's too early to show your hand, madam. Okay. You, come with me. And remember, these are the people that put you in jail. So don't overly concern yourself with pity. Madam, stay here. Please. Get on your horse. Way to be. You 
seem to live by your own rules. In some ways, I admire that. Although maybe at times you seem a touch confused, confusing. I don't know, but I hope. Either way, good, bad, or plain indifferent, after all she has done for you, that you will be loyal to my mistress. Kill Teddy Brown, not out of vengeance or righteousness, but out of duty to her, with compassion for her. He thinks he got away with taking my master and taking your freedom. How you getting on, Marshal? Well, that bastard is holed up tight as he can be. I've already had two men shot since last we spoke. That's too bad. Luckily, I brought in the cavalry, so to speak. You have, huh? Yes. My associates. And what's more, I think I found a way of ensuring they don't get themselves shot. Like your deputies. Put those on. Teddy Brown is a bad man. One of the worst. But... There's folk in Blackwater, powerful folk, who asked my boss to get me to leave him alone. I can imagine. Amos Lansing and Jeremiah Shaw, perhaps? Well, I don't know. Maybe. My lord, look at you. I read about this. Australian, I believe. Always wanted to see if it works. My friends, let me take you up. Come on. Bring us Teddy Brown. Dead or alive.
I'm afraid of you fools! God damn you! God damn you! No! God damn you, Teddy Brown! Hello, Mrs. LeClerc. <laughs> Who killed my husband? Who killed my husband? Your husband? That little milk sot? <laughs> I guess I imagine he was your brother. No woman would ever marry his kind. <laughs> I did kill him. I did it. And he was begging for his life. <laughs> Pathetic, really. Who put you up to it? <laughs> Who? Lady, that's none of your damn business. Then I guess we'll kill the lot of them. That's one down, three to go. Mr. Horley. Pay our friends for their service. Thank you. We shall be in touch.
please. You, you got to help me. I can't help you, mister. That's way out of my jurisdiction. My job is stopping folks from getting shot on these streets. You know that. She's my wife. She's my goddamn wife. They'll, they'll do terrible things to her. You've got to help me. Maybe these people can help you. Them? Sure. Why not? Most lost and kidnapped folks are found by bounty hunters and such like. Will you help? I'll pay. Handsomely. <sighs> Wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah, Allison is the sweetest girl. She's quite a bit younger than me, you'll see. But better that way for wives, I, I, I found. But they took her. The outlaws, I believe. Up, up, up to Twin Rocks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you! He sent you, didn't he? He sent you! Well, I'm not coming. I can't go back to him. We're in love. Leave us be. Look, I'll give you all we have. It ain't much, but it's something. Just help us escape from here. Come on, please. I'm not going back. Cliff, you swore. You swore I wouldn't have to go back. They'll have to kill me to get to you. Come on, folks. Have a heart, please. I think they're gonna help us. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Come on, wagon's outside. Money there, too. He will have sent men to watch you people. They'll know you're trying to help us. Then we best be quick. Here's our wagon. They're getting us out of here. There's room for two more in the back. Or just stay close on your horses.
It's a massacre. They killed them all, Cliff. Close your eyes. It's my fault. I'm sorry. We can't think about that right now. They knew what they was getting into, taking on, no doubt. None of us ever thought we was going to live very long. Hey, all of us, fill your chambers and watch the road. This man will be close, and they won't wait long after seeing us. We aren't safe until we're out of this battle. Why won't he leave us alone? How many more of them we gotta kill? He'll never leave us alone. He'll keep saying you kidnapped me until some other fool comes and kills you. Or me, or, or both of us. No. We'll run. Somewhere hot. Mexico. Australia. Here, take this. Thank you for being a decent human being. Tell him we drowned. Or got hit by a train. Tell him to go hang himself. Tell him whatever you want. Just let us go. Cliff, isn't it all so romantic? Yeah. 